Today, we're gonna to show you how to set up the Luna Gaming Controller. The first thing you need to do to set this up is search for the Luna app in the App Store. So this actually requires the Luna app in order to get set up. You can see it says Amazon Luna Controller, and that's what we're looking to set up. So I'm going to click Get right there. Now just double click to install. Let's click Open. Here, you can use your Amazon account that you already have. So that's what I recommend doing. Put in your typical Amazon account, your email and your password for whatever you use for Amazon Prime. Then click sign in. Now you may need to enter your verification code. Enter the code and press submit. Amazon Lunar Controller app, welcome. Now we're going to click continue. It says, let's get started. You can use this app to set up and manage your Luna controllers. You can also play games with the phone controller. We're going to set up my controller. It says Luna controller would like to use Bluetooth. We're going to click OK. Now we need to allow the Luna controller to access our location. I'm going to use only while using app. Now it says press and hold the Luna button for three seconds. We haven't inserted the batteries yet, so if you haven't done so, do that now. Take the two provided AA batteries and insert them into the back of the controller. Now we're ready to press and hold the Luna button for three seconds. It vibrates, letting you know that it is turned on. Now let's click Next. Connecting. Connecting to controller. Creating authentication. Looking for networks. Here we need to choose our Wi-Fi network. So click on your Wi-Fi network and you may need to enter your password unless you've already got it saved to the Amazon network. Registering Luna Controller. What is CloudDirect? CloudDirect technology sends your gaming inputs over Wi-Fi for faster response. So this actually connects to Wi-Fi to then connect to whatever game you're either playing on your phone and or whatever you're playing on the Luna app network on potentially an Amazon TV. It says once your Luna controller is connected to Wi-Fi, you will see a solid purple ring. So we do have that purple ring right there. Flashing purple indicates the Luna controller is searching for a Luna session to connect to. Right now, it's just installing firmware and it just vibrating, letting us know that it's updating. Finalizing configuration. It says your Luna controller also supports Bluetooth gameplay on compatible devices. To pair via Bluetooth, you're going to press the action button, which is this button right here, and the B button at the same time, and then that should allow it to connect. You can also connect to Fire TV devices. We're going to click OK. Congratulations, you're ready to play with Cloud Direct. I'm going to click Dismiss. So let's click not now on this and let's try getting this set up with the TV and seeing if we can get it connected. So we're gonna do that now. So we're down at our smart TV. This is an Amazon Fire TV enabled TV. It's the Insignia 50 inch, check down in the description below. Been very happy with this TV, uh, very budget friendly TV. So if you've got a Fire TV or a Fire TV stick, you can then connect your Luna controller directly to the TV. In order to do that, what we need to do is find the Luna app. So I've got my remote control here. And the easiest way to do this is just press the Alexa button right there and then say, uh, find Luna or Luna app. Luna app. Okay, there we go. We've got our Luna Cloud Gaming app. We wanna select that right there. So I make the selection with the remote to choose the Luna app and it says Luna Cloud Gaming. So if you haven't done so already, click to download the app and install it. 
so that you can then connect your Luna controller. So if you don't already have the app, download it now so that you can use it on your TV. Now, once you've got it downloaded, all we're going to do is select open, and that's going to take us to the Luna app and all the games for Fire TV devices, whether it be a Fire TV or a Fire TV stick. Now, once you open it up, your Luna controller is automatically going to connect to the Luna app. So our Luna controller is now connected and once we've opened that up on the uh, Luna app on our Fire TV, we can just now use the controller and click accept. And now you can see I'm controlling this from the controller. So I can go left or right. I can make selections here with the controller um, to choose whatever game I want to choose here. So Fortnite, uh, that's a very typical option there. Any of these you can choose and you can make selections from any of these games. So once you've got your Luna controller connected, you can go down to your Fire TV. This is that Insignia Fire TV, but you could just use a Fire TV stick and it will connect to that as well if you don't have a Fire TV compatible TV. And then um, you can start playing whatever you wanna play with your controller, your Luna controller on the Luna app. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.